so uh, let's continue in the previous video we talked about the style element right where we added this element right here and i mentioned that this style element is going to allow us to add custom styles to it so for example we can change this uh Campa Cafe text to whatever color, whatever font, whatever size we want. We have the flexibility to add our own styling to it. Okay. So now in this video, we're going to look at how exactly we can add our own style to it. So the way we do that is to write the name of the element. So this is how we write CSS or the syntax for CSS. So you write the name of the element like you have it here okay you write the name of the element you use two curly braces and then we have various property in uh, css that you can use so you write a property you bring your colon and then the value of the property and then semicolon okay if all of this sounds like it's too much uh don't worry we'll be going through some example and after you've practiced for a while it will become very uh will become familiar with you and you wouldn't have issues doing adding your own styles all right so let's see how we can add some styling to the h1 element okay so center your h1 element by setting its text align property to the value center Okay, so like we said earlier, if you want to write custom styles, you write the name of the element, okay? Then you use curly braces like this, okay? Let's hit enter. Then you write the name of the property, okay? And then the value of that property, okay? So in this case, the element we want to style is the h1 element so we just write the name of the h1 element like so and the property we want to add is the text align property so we just write text align like so and the value that we want to use for text align is center okay now let's see what happens when we write center okay so as you can see this text shifted from the left to the center of the page so let me just delete this and let's see you see it goes back to the left so being on the left is the default style but if we want to add our own custom style in this case if we want to center it then we can do something like this right h1 and then we use the text align property and center so there are a number of uh properties we can use in uh css for example we can use the color property okay and i can say blue for example now you see the camper cafe text changes to blue so that's how we write css okay let's continue all right in the previous step, you use the type selector to style the H1 element. Okay, so just type when we say type selector, what we mean is the writing the name of the style, right? So that's what is referred to as a type selector. Okay, so center the H2 and P elements by adding a new type selector for each element each one of the existing style element. Okay, so uh, the way we're going to do that is first we're going to write H2. So when we write H2, then we've added the type selector for the H2 element, okay? And to do the same for P, we're also going to do P, and then we add our curly braces, like so. Now we also have a type selector for P as well. Oh, wait, so yeah, 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 so we have to add the same, uh, a new type selector for each one of the existing stuff. So yeah, so this is the type selector, right? 
but we need to add a style the specific style that we want to add so in this case we want to add a text align and we center it okay so we see coffee also is centered now let's do the same for the p tag so text align and uh, center yes now everything is centered nicely like so all right let's move on to step 13. all right so you now have three types selectors with the exact same styling you can add the same group of styles to many elements by creating a list of selectors each selector is separated with commas like this okay so when you look at this you can see that each of the elements that we've added a type selector for has the same styling so in this case text align center okay it's the same for all three now in programming we have a principle called the dry principle or dri which basically means don't repeat yourself so in programming we try to stay away from repeating code as much as we can okay so the way we can do that in css is write the name of the selector and separate it with a comma and then write the next selector so that in that case you just write it once you write the star once and you don't need to repeat okay so here's what i mean for this case for example we write h1 and then we write h2 and then we bring your comma then you write p okay so once we've done this we can now delete these ones here and as you can see nothing changes all of them are still centered and that's because writing h1 separated by a comma h2 separated by a comma and then p means that whatever style you write here is going to be applied to all three of them so for example if i do color and I say, give me a color of blue. As you can see, all three of them now has the blue color. Okay? Yeah. Let's move on. All right. You have styled three elements by writing CSS inside the style tags. This works. But since there will be many more styles, it's best to put all the styles in a separate file and link to it. We have created a separate styles.css file for you and switched the editor view to that file. You can change between files with the tabs at the top of the editor. Start by rewriting the files you have created in the styles.css file. Make sure to exclude the opening and closing style tags. Okay, so now when you look here, you can see these two tabs we have index.html and we have styles.css so when you click index.html you're going to see the html code that we've been writing okay so here's all of the html that we've write we've written and we've written the styles as part of the html okay inside the styles element which is here now that's one way of writing your styles but there's a better way and it's a better way because when you are working on a larger project you would have many lines of styles that you write and you don't want to keep them in the same html file it will make your work just cumbersome so to keep your files well written and organized you have to create separate files where you write only your style so in this case this is the file that we'll be using for our uh css okay so we have our styles.css here okay which is the one here as you can see line one and we have our html also here so the challenge for this task is to rewrite the same style we've written this one inside our styles.css so inside this file okay and we are to write it without these style elements 
okay because this is a dot css file so we don't need this style element you just write this and it will work so for example uh let's write h1 h2 and then p and then we'll say text align center okay so that's what we're going to do all right on to the next one okay now that you have the css in the styles.css file go ahead and remove the style elements and all of its content once it is removed the text that was sentence will shift back to the left okay so now we've written this is the css file okay we've written our styles here and as you can see we also have it here as well so the task for this challenge is to just delete these ones here okay now as you can see once we deleted it this all of the text that were nicely aligned in the center shift back to the left which means they have gotten back to their default styles okay now let's continue and see how we can fix that all right so now for us to be able to fix it the reason why this styles have shifted back to the left is because our styles is here in this file we have our html here in this file but there is no way we've linked our styles the css file to the html file okay so for the htm for the browser to be able to read your styles you have to link it to your html file okay and the way we do that is to write uh link link is also a self-closing tag and then we give it a a real attribute and the value of that real attribute is a style sheet because this is a style sheet and then you also have to give it an href so the href will be a link to this file here and the name of the file is style.css like so okay now okay let me see okay so why is this not working uh nest a self-closing link element in the head element give it a real attribute with a value style sheet okay we have our real and the value of real is style sheet okay and an href attribute with a value styles.css okay so the reason why it's not working because i did style.css okay instead of styles plural so i'll just add an s here and there you go our elements are nicely centered on the page all right on to the next one okay for the styling of the page to look similar on mobile as it does on a desktop or laptop you need to add a meta element with a special content attribute add the following within the head element okay so i'm just going to copy this and we just paste it okay yeah so like the commentary says this is to help our page look similar on both mobile desktop or laptop like on various screen sizes okay so on to the next one for step 18 the text is centered again so the link to the css file is working 
add another style to the file that changes the background color property to brown for the body element okay so uh the way we do that is first we write the name of the element we want to target or the element we want to style so in this case in this case the element we want to style is body okay so write body and then we bring our curly braces like so so the back the property we want to style is the background property okay so background color property sorry and we want to change it to brown so we just write brown like so and as you can see we have our background changing color so you can just say red and it will be red yellow you just write the color green right so you get a drill so just brown and then the color changes okay that brown background makes it hard to read the text change the body elements the body elements background color to be barely wood so that it has some color but you are still able to read the text all right so yeah as you can see the brown is too strong of a color so we want something more faint so we we'll use burly wood and as you can see we have this light nice looking background all right and finally in this video the div element the div element is used mainly for design layout purposes unlike the other element you have used so far okay so add a div element inside the body and then move all the other elements inside the new div okay so we want to add a div element inside the body so we have our opening div tag and then our closing div tag and we are told to move all other elements inside the div body the div element okay so we move everything from here we just cut it out and then we are going to paste it like so okay all right okay so that's it for this video uh we'll continue in the next one and look at steps 31 to 30. all right thanks for watching and see you in the next one